Good morning and welcome back to our look at 2 Thessalonians. Today we are in chapter 3 verses 16 through 18 as Paul concludes the epistle. He writes, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. This is the sign of genuineness in every letter of mine. It is the way I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. So St. Paul finishes this letter as he often did with an entreaty to God to help uh, the people that he wrote the letter, letter to. And after all the troubles that the Thessalonians uh, have gone through, he wants them to have peace. He wants them to know the peace that only God can give them. Uh, as he says, uh, may Jesus, the Lord of peace, give you peace in every way, both in uh, their personal lives and in their spiritual lives and in uh, the knowledge that Jesus is coming again. Uh, and we have this section where Paul says, I, I'm, I'm writing this to you. Look at how big these letters are. You know that this is how I write. I am writing this section so that you know this is me who is saying this. This isn't just... Paul giving them some just generic uh, pleasantries, he wants them to understand that this is what he himself is saying to them. Uh, often in the, those days, you would have people would not write their own letters. Uh, papyrus was too expensive and too valuable. You would hire someone who is a professional scribe, uh, uh, tell them what to write, and then they would be able to write more efficiently and smaller uh, on the papyrus. And that's how Paul usually wrote his letters, but how he ends them is in his own hand because he knows the value of showing uh, the people of Thessalonica this is Paul writing to them. Uh, they can be certain that what he is saying is what he himself has said. Uh, and of course, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. He wants to end on that uh, note of grace. He wants to end with that recognition that the grace of Christ is what they need and what they need to hear. And that's why he ends with it. And with that, let us pray. Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Lord of hosts, preserve your church and look favorably on her ministers. Give them delight in this joyful season and rest restful reflection on the mystery of your incarnation, that they may preach your word boldly and faithfully. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through Jesus Christ our Lord.